Hey, my name is Oliver Shoulder, and I'm a consultant here at Idealist Consulting. Idealist Consulting is a Salesforce consulting firm that works with social impact organizations. Today, I'm going to walk through how to create a report where we filter some of the data so that we exclude a certain segment and also um, bucket the data so that we break it up into different groups. And for the report today, I am going to use the opportunities object in Salesforce. So we'll navigate over to the reports tab and we'll click new report. And from here, we're just going to do a general opportunities report. So we'll create that. And then from here, I'm just going to change the date range to be all time. And I'm going to add a filter in here where we filter our lead source field to exclude any lead sources that came from partners. So to do that, I'm going to drag our lead source field here on the left hand side into this area that says add filters and you can see there's a green check mark that says it's okay to do that and in our operators I'm going to change this to be not equals to and I'll use our little lookup here and choose partner and we'll say okay and that filters out any opportunities that came from our partner lead source and then after that what we're going to do is create our bucket where we're breaking this, uh, these opportunities into different categories. And so for this, I'm just going to drag the bucket field over the amount. And rather than having all of these different amounts here, we want to just have three categories. So we want to say small, medium, and large opportunities. And so um, we'll give it a name. So I'll just call this um, opportunity size and we'll fill out our numbers here so if it's less than 50,000 we'll call it small if it's greater than 50,000 and let's actually add another one in here so we'll do 50 to 100,000 we'll call it medium and then greater than 100,000 we'll call it large and then we'll hit OK and then you can see all of these opportunities get broken down into these three categories and so if I save this report and run it you'll see that these have been assigned out a category and we can even group by this. And now if I run the report, you can see we've got our small category right here. So on the left hand side it says small, scroll down a bit. Most of these are small and then we've got a couple of records that are in the mediums of so 75 to, to 100 right here. And then our large um, opportunities down here. So that's just a quick walkthrough of how to filter the report and also create a bucket.